Your Excellency, President Dinmar Rousseff, Your Excellency, Chancellor Angela Merkel, Your Excellency, Prime Minister Shinjo Abe, Distinguished Delegation Member, I'm delighted to welcome you all. Thank you for attending this meeting early on a Saturday morning. I want to specially thank Prime Minister Abe, who had just arrived in New York. The subject of reforms in the United Nations Security Council has been the focus of global attention for decades. Unfortunately, without progress so far. Our group of four countries, G4, came together in 2004, bound by our shared commitment to global peace and prosperity. Our faith in multilateralism and our willingness to assume our global responsibilities that we need, that the world expects from us. I'm delighted that we are meeting again as heads of the government after 10 years. As I had reflected in my letter on the 17th anniversary of the United Nations, we live in a <coughs> fundamentally different world from the time the UN was born. The, member, the number of member states has grown fourfold. Threats to peace and security have become more complex, unpredictable, and undefined. <coughs> In many ways, our lives are becoming globalized. But fault lines around our identities are growing. We live in a digital age. The global economy change with new engines of growth, more widely dispersed economic power and widening wealth gap. Trends in demography, harmonization and migration are posing new challenges. Climate change and terrorism are new concerns. Cyber and space are entirely new frontiers of our opportunities and challenges. Yet, our institutions, approaches, and often mindsets reflect the wisdom of the century we have left behind not the century we live in. This is especially true of the United Nations Security Council. The reform of the Security Council within a fixed time frame had become an urgent and important task. The Security Council must include the world's largest democracies, major locomotives of the global economy and voice from all the major countries. It will carry greater credibility and legitimacy and will be more representative and effective in addressing the challenges of the 21st century. After decades, we finally see some moment the 69th session of the Central General Assembly 
had taken a significant step forward to commence tax breach negotiations. This would not have been possible, but for the dynamic leadership of His Excellency, <coughs> Mr. Srem Patricia, and Ambassador Cotton de Rattray. However, this is just the first step. We should aim to take this process to its logical conclusion during the 70th session. I am confident that our meeting today will give a big impetus to our efforts in this direction. I now invite President Delma Rousseff to make brief opening remarks. Thank you. <coughs> Senhor Narendra Modi, primeiro-ministro da Índia, senhora Angela Merkel, chanceler da Alemanha, senhor Shinzo Abe, primeiro-ministro do Japão, senhoras e senhores integrantes das delegações, senhores chefes de Estado de governo, eu queria dizer que a culpa do G4 ocorre em momento bastante significativo. Este ano, nós celebramos os 70 anos da criação das Nações Unidas e também é, estamos é, também celebrando os 10 anos da, do G4. De lá para cá, a situação mudou de forma bastante, bastante concreta. Em 1945, eram 51 estados que integravam a Assembleia Geral das Nações Unidas. E o Conselho de Segurança das Nações Unidas tinha 11 membros, portanto, 22%. Hoje, são 193 estados e um conselho de segurança composto de 15 membros. Portanto, uma queda bastante significativa no percentual de representação do conselho vis-à-vis -vis a Assembleia. A realidade internacional também passou por profundas mudanças. Acredito que a adoção neste ano da Agenda 2030 vai permitir que se dê passos concretos pela via das negociações para que nós encontremos é, soluções para um problema bastante relevante, que é a questão da mudança do clima. Acredito também que, quando se trata da paz e da segurança coletiva, que hoje estão ameaçados, esses resultados não foram muito avançados. Por isso, a reforma do Conselho da de Segurança da ONU permanece como a principal questão pendente na agenda da ONU. Nós precisamos de um Conselho renovado, que reflita adequadamente a nova correlação de forças mundial, muito distinta daquela de 1945. Precisamos de um Conselho de Segurança representativo, legítimo e eficaz. Reafirmo nessas palavras iniciais o firme compromisso do Brasil com o G4 e com o nosso objetivo comum de fortalecer o sistema multilateral de paz e segurança e reserva o resto do meu pronunciamento para as próximas, a próxima intervenção. Muito obrigado. Now, I invite Chancellor Merkel to make brief opening remarks. Ja, sehr geehrter Premierminister, lieber Narendra Modi, liebe Frau Präsidentin Dilma Rousseff, lieber Shinzo Abe, Premierminister, ich freue mich auch heute an diesem Treffen teilzunehmen und das begrüße, dass nach zehn Jahren wieder die Staats- und Regierungschefs unserem Anliegen der Reform des Sicherheitsrats eine besondere Unterstützung verleihen. Ich fühle mich dieser Gruppe auch vollkommen verpflichtet und wir sollten weiter gemeinsam arbeiten. Wir haben 70 Jahre nach Gründung der Vereinten Nationen mit der Agenda 2030 
and the Agenda 2030, the Sustainable Development Goals, that has, have outlined a very good basis for future work in this changing world. I think it's a very good uh, basis, as I said, because it includes each and every one, not only developing countries, but um, developed countries, those that are currently emerging economies, and also um, the uh, developing countries and industrialized countries. So the situation in the world at large is partly dramatic. We see failed states, we see non-state actors, we see terrorists, um, organized criminals, um, state destabilizing whole regions of this world. We have never seen as many refugees as um, after the Second World War as we see now. There's terror, there are natural disasters, lack of perspective for many. On the other hand, we have been able to achieve also uh, quite a lot. We have put some um, hard, absolute poverty, but there's problems that we have to contend with um, these days um, make it incumbent upon us to adopt new measures of work. And we have not as yet created these new uh, work processes in contrast to the Agenda 2030. So we need a reform of the Security Council that better reflects um, the actual distribution of power in the world today. Um, and we have it now. We have seen over the past few years that we need to be very prudent and very intelligent in how we deal with matters, that we need to try to find allies, uh, that we need to talk to others in order to achieve this goal of uh, changing the format of the Security Council. But I think there is um, an underlying mood that not only the four of us are not content with the current structure of the Security Council, there are many others who have more similar views, so this is not an exclusive a meeting today. These are just a group of states, as I see it, that wish to take others along in order to change the Security Council in such a way that it is actually equipped, better equipped to weather the challenges of the 21st century in its composition. Thank you for inviting us here today and for making this meeting possible. Thank you, Chancellor. I now invite Prime Minister Shinjo Abe to make brief opening remarks. So we are having this G4 summit meeting at the first time since 2004, and it was uh, thanks uh, to the efforts of uh, Prime Minister Modi, together with uh, President Rousseff, uh, Chancellor Merkel, uh, we are uh, getting together. I think there is a great significance in this. Uh, we must uh, respond uh, to the voices of the great majority of the nations in reforming the Security Council. We must make United Nations befitting the 20th century. We have a resolve, and we have to communicate our resolve to the rest of the world. So, since 2004, G4 countries have made various efforts. And the, we must note the fact that the situation has changed so much uh, from uh, the year 2004. There is a mounting momentum for uh, change. Regarding the substance of the change, we are having a good amount of discussion which is uh, boiling down to certain uh, results. So, in this uh, context, uh, we are having this uh, summit meeting of G4. I hope that uh, this will be led to the uh, concrete uh, outcome. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. We will now continue our discussion in a closed meeting.